I love Heihachi. And he loves me. What's up, Internet? So it has recently been brought to my attention that the Heihachi and Kazumi symbol that is carved into the temple floor in the Tekken 7 trailer can also be found in what I believe to be the same temple back in Tekken 2. Now what this symbol means, apparently it's the Japanese equivalent to two names inside a heart carved in a tree. It's called a love umbrella and it's, it's something that I guess lovebirds, uh, you know, do to express their love for each other. Now the one difference here is that the, the symbol in the Tekken 2 stage actually has the kanji for the numbers 5691 written in it. Now the first thing I thought when I saw this is, is this a easter egg or is this some kind of a hint to what we can expect from the story in Tekken 7? Now most of the trailer is narrated by Kazumi and she speaks about Kazuya as a young boy in the present tense. That combined with the camera effect makes me feel like this is actually a flashback. Uh, now the thing is, is it actually a flashback or is this something that can tell us how the game's story will function? Perhaps Kazumi will be, we know she's dead, but perhaps she will be a playable character because the story mode of the game could span over a very long period of time. Perhaps we will be able to play as young and old Heihachi. Perhaps the uh, story mode will explain why the design for the Arab character, as well as Kazumi herself, is so, uh, the, you know, kind of dated looking. This could explain that. Now, this is completely speculation on my part, but. One thing that this concept really seems exciting, uh, that makes this concept seem very exciting to me is many of us want a reboot in the Tekken series. And many of us were thinking that, okay, after Tekken 7 comes out, hopefully the next one will be just Tekken, like a brand new reboot of the original Tekken. Now the thing is, what if this is actually the reboot of the original Tekken? And we're going to get to go back in time back to the time of Tekken 1 and Tekken 2 and play as the characters during that time. It is possible that since in versus modes of fighting games there are things like mirror matches, the story doesn't really matter in terms of versus mode. So maybe uh, this is something that they're going to use to their advantage in terms of storytelling. Maybe they will allow us to use characters from the flashbacks as well as characters from the present day. Now one last thing I wanted to talk about is, after hearing this, I kind of examined the trailer a little more closely, and I noticed that in the scene where he it zooms into Heihachi's eye, you see what looks like Kazuya turning into Devil, and then you see the Devil Kazuya transform into what looks like a much more feminine looking Devil. Could this be Devil Kazumi? Uh, I don't know. But later in the trailer, it shows a close-up of Heihachi's eyes, neither of them red. Then it shows a close-up of Kazumi's eyes, in which both of them turn red. And right after that, it shows Kazuya's eyes, in which he has the heterochromia thing going on, where one of them is red, and it kind of turns even more red. So perhaps this is a indication of how Heihachi does not have any of the devil gene, and Kazuya got part of it from his mother. Who knows? Either way, these little easter eggs or hints hidden inside the Tekken 7 trailer are really making me more interested in the story of Tekken than I ever have been. Um, many of you guys actually know a lot more about the story than I do, so uh, maybe you can explain some of this stuff to me. Perhaps I got it all wrong. Maybe, uh, you know, it's just a totally gonna be a flashback and you won't even be able to play in the past at all. Maybe there's more to the whole Devil Kazumi thing that I don't know about. If there's something I missed, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I can't tell you how amped up I am about this game. Uh, keep uh, your eye on this channel and make sure you subscribe because I will be covering it in the future. And I will catch you guys later. Take it easy.